So time for a new update. This is gonna be much much quicker than the previous ones as I don't have a lot of time to stay and think and to share all the big and small details of how this week uh, went. I, I'm trying to uh, remember if this is week five or week six, if that just ended, I don't remember. Right now, like my head is filled with uh, all of the past day's events. So whatever the week is, I'm just gonna share very quick how it went and how, how it's gonna be for next week at least. Um, I've decided to come back to Bucharest. I love the city. I it was I I, I couldn't adapt to to Brasov. Um, many, many of you know. Many maybe don't. I moved to Brasov five months ago in an attempt to help my cat breathe better and in an attempt for me to well for us to have a fresh life and to enjoy nature more and to connect with different people there and to um, just start fresh and see how life could be. Somehow there it, it has always been a personal curiosity to um, live in a different city. I lived in Bucharest for a long, a long few years, maybe 10, I'm not, I don't remember right now. But after college, I mean, I I went to uh, university here, and then I um, decided to move back home for a while, for about three years, and then I returned to Bucharest because I felt its call again, and I stayed here for another seven years, and then I just, I mean, with with our cat getting really sick last summer we thought it's gonna be a um, perfect idea to bring to to take her out to to nature and to to find a city that has less cars and less pollution and traffic and i know brashov statistically speaking is quite polluted but i'm trying to make my camera focus on me that's why i'm moving like like this um, i mean i know brashov is a polluted city statistically speaking but where we uh, have stayed up until now, uh, we had we were lucky to find uh, this place in a, a pretty quiet area with less traffic, uh, clean air, mountains on every side. It was it was nice for my cat, for our cat. It was nice. I mean, she felt she feels great, but I felt like crap because I couldn't connect with people there. I couldn't. I just felt taken um, pulled back into some kind of a past or regression for me it felt like a regression and it felt like I've been limited um, so much <laughs> that I, I I mean I I struggled with this thing since the beginning and I focused on enjoying nature and I focused on having more time uh, in nature uh, on the mountains to just enjoy what the city offers and it 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 worked but it didn't because here i am decided like that to come back here and to find a new place so i found a nice apartment well no no i found a great apartment and i'm really excited and it's close to greener spaces so it's more quiet so i really hope my cat is gonna feel okay too because it's not the same traffic it, it used to be where I used to stay in Bucharest before uh, we used to stay so somehow I have this faith I have to have this faith that she will feel fine here in this new apartment this new place in this new area and if she doesn't I don't know I mean if she doesn't she doesn't I need to be back here I, I, this is my home. It feels like home, and I've been away for five months, just visiting every month for a day or two, and I just, I, I miss it. I mean, it's my, it's, it's where I'm supposed to be right now, and I found a new place. But um, I've been away from home since Thursday, and I stayed at a great, great friend. Thank you. 
<laughs> I think she will watch this. Um, I stayed at her place until today and um, I signed the contract and I got the keys and I got the apartment all ready and prepared, prepared for uh, our move next week. So my workouts have been greatly compacted so I had to train well, I train on uh, I train normally on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I, I had my usual workouts, lifting workouts, but for cardio, I walked in the park. That this is one like I said this before. I like walking, and that that is my preferred way of cardio. So, coming here, I will be able to walk because it's straight. It's flat terrain everywhere, so I can walk. And um, that, w that was my cardio. Like, I, di I didn't do any gym cardio, and I will probably stop doing that, starting with this week. Uh, next week, because we are moving, This today is Monday already, and I didn't train today, so it's kind of a, the rest day that I would have taken on Wednesday. So I'm just switching it up a bit. So I'll train tomorrow, I'll train on Wednesday, and I'll train on Thursday. And then again on Friday and Saturday, I'm gonna r rest. <laughs> I'm gonna rest and I'm gonna take a break from lifting because I will be moving, I will be uh, driving and with every packed box. And well, I'm not gonna personally drive all the house, all the, all the, all the items, all the furniture and books and everything, um, but I will have to be here to pack and pack. Well, I'm gonna pack this week and lift, uh, keep my training uh, schedule, keep, uh, keep my. Oh, I'm so <laughs> excited. I will keep my lifting schedule, but I won't do any cardio this week. So, no cardio for me this upcoming week, which means I'm expecting. Um, I'm expecting a standstill in my progress and that is completely fine because not all progress is on my body <laughs> um, there are there is right now there is this um, emotional progress for me knowing that I'm coming back here and I have to take care of things with moving and that's fine like, life happens so it's completely fine uh, I still eat the same um, Actually, I've uh, for a while, for a few days, I decided to skip my tuna and salad. This is one of my meals, and I've been having this as one of my meals for uh, since I started from from week one. <clears throat> but I decided to um, to skip it a few times this week, this past week, intentionally skip it. You know, not forget or not be prepared or I just decided to skip because it felt good. I, it, I felt good. I just felt amazing. Body-wise, I look incredible right now, and I'm aware I look incredible. I can see myself. I mean, uh, next week I'll do I'll do a, uh, a video update on my looks as well. But right now I'm so uh, focused on moving and on trying to balance um, my lifting uh, routine that. All the other things aren't that important, like my cardio or my um, sticking to my meals. I won't eat crap. I, I'll have my meals with me and I will continue to eat the same even if I'm packing a whole house. But uh, I'll probably not make much progress this week. And I'm fine with that. So next week's update is gonna be probably again Monday or, or Tuesday because it's gonna be a crazy weekend next weekend with the unpacking stuff. So you'll hear from me, well, when you'll hear from me. And uh, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm not quitting in any way. I'm just taking this week to get my life in, in a better place physically and emotionally speaking. So this is just gonna be week six, seven, I, I, I really don't remember right now. Uh, but I will continue up until week 12. It's the same thing. I don't, I don't feel like I'm derailing with anything. I'm just, balance, I'm just balancing things out and that's it. I'm not changing anything else. I'm taking the same supplements. I'm eating around the same nutrients. I'm not changing much. And once I settle down in my new place, I will start 
sharing some of my meals too, like how I'm preparing them. It's not rocket science, but um, some of you have asked and I'll share, why not? And uh, that's it. Keep your fingers crossed so my move goes smoothly. <laughs> Take care and thanks for watching. And if you have questions, always drop them down below.